Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, I want to say welcome. I am Nisha and here on my channel we do pretty much everything that is in the beauty family. I do makeup tutorials, I do haul, I do hair reviews or wig reviews. <laughs> um, pretty much everything you can think of that might be like beauty related is going to be on this channel. So if that is something that interests you, then of course, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And of course, go ahead and click the notification bell as well. So that way you will get notified every time your girl upload a new video. And I do upload five days out of the week. So I mean, I never know what to say after that, after I say upload five days a week. Okay. okay. But anywho, you guys, today we are going to be doing, <laughs> can't we talk, I'm, I'm talking like I'm from the Bronx. Today we're gonna be doing. <laughs> Today you guys, we're gonna be doing something that's gonna be totally fun in my mind. So I hope it's fun to you guys as well. But I don't know, I've just been thinking of different things to do to bring to the channel. You know, just creativity is just up in the air. And I decided to do like a color theme spotlight for each month. Um, I don't know what that is the correct term, title, whatever. But basically what I'm going to do is, being that I upload five days out of the week, I decided I want to at least have two or three of those videos um, for each week to be somewhat of a yellow inspired makeup tutorial. And that's just my way of getting into spring. Plus it challenges me to try different yellow eyeshadows in my makeup collection. So maybe you have that special palette, you don't know how to use that yellow or something like that. I just want to do that, okay? <laughs> so every month I will be doing this. Well, we're gonna give this a try first. So for this month, month of April, it's totally yellow theme, okay? So I went all the way out. I got my nails done, you guys. So boom, yellow, yellow nails. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna be giving this a try, giving it a run and see how it goes. Um, you guys will not get tired of the yellow looks. Why? Because I promise each yellow look is going to look different. It's not gonna be like, yellow, 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 yellow. Like it's gonna be different ways on how I'm going to do this yellow. Plus, I am not allowed to repeat a palette. So I'm going to be using a special yellow eyeshadow from different palettes. So if that way, if you guys have that particular palette that I'm using, you can definitely use it. If you don't even have the palette, but you got a palette that has a bomb yellow in it, you guys can do these looks. So this is gonna get me to use my different palettes that I got going on over here. Plus this gets me to do, I don't know, just, I don't know. It's just, uh, y'all let me know if y'all like this idea. I hope so because it's going, okay? <laughs> it's going. So two to three times out of the week, y'all will be seeing a yellow inspired look. So don't worry, I will still do other tutorials, blue looks, pink looks. So don't worry, not every makeup tutorial is going to be yellow was a long intro I'm sorry y'all but I felt like I had to explain myself because sometimes I have so much going on in here and then when it comes out here sometimes it don't come out right so I apologize if I didn't make sense but y'all gonna see what I do and it'll eventually make sense so I don't know that's how my brain thinks okay <laughs> so if y'all got a certain palette y'all like for me to use and they got a really bomb yellow eyeshadow in there definitely leave me a comment down at the bottom I might have that palette and if I don't I probably will get it because I'm a palette hoarder and I do have a few yellow monochromatic palettes too so this definitely gives me an excuse to use that as well all right chapstick is on what we about to do we about to pin this hair up to the side I like to comb it out first you know make sure I get all the flyaway hair and then we're going to pin her and then I'm gonna prep and prime my eyes off camera. And then we're gonna jump right into this yellow inspired look. So, are y'all ready? Let's do this, boo. I have a look in mind. It's actually a look I did, I wanna say six to seven years ago. This look potential was totally there. I'm gonna pop it up right here on the screen. It was cute. But I didn't know what I was doing. So we're going to take this look. That's going to be our inspiration. And then we're going to totally revamp it. So I'm going to show you if I had the creativity that I do now. This is in my mind. I think this is where I was trying to go. But I didn't go. So this is technically not a flashback Friday look. How I usually do them. But so there's definitely I will 
I will say this for the month of April for this yellow inspired look. I have done a lot of yellow looks that I definitely would love to recreate. Some of them I have to re recreate because of copyright and stuff like that. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all might see your favorite look that I've done in the past be recreated. So I think April gonna be like a whole lot of flashback Fridays, but it ain't gonna be Fridays because they're gonna be uploaded whenever I wanna upload them. So just giving you guys heads up, okay? And I hope y'all don't mind that because you know it, it's it's good to revisit old looks and retwist them and revamp them and remix it and you know. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Jam Rock Universal Eyeshadow Palette. So this is something new to the collection. I got her about a good three weeks ago, and we're gonna be giving her a try for the first time. So this is like a first impression of me using this eyeshadow palette as well. So I already did my highlight underneath my eyebrows, so y'all know my first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a transition color. And it's a nice range of like mattes and metallics or shimmers, whatever formula you wanna call them. But it's a good variety of different ranges in here. So giving y'all one more look at this palette. Bomb, okay? All right, what is a good matte brown? So the only matte brown I see in this palette is this color right here. So I'm gonna go in with this color and I'm going to pop this in my crease. I like when palettes put mirrors in here because it's just, it makes it a lot more easier too. All right, so I think I want to, I'm trying to think. I kind of want to deepen this up and it's not really like a really dark chocolate brown in this palette and, I, and I'm trying to stick to just this palette. So I'm gonna go in with a uh, matte black that's in here. It's this black that's right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of that. I'm gonna like tap it on the crease cause I don't want to overdo it with this color. I feel like this is a nice deep. I'm gonna go back in with that brown because I lost a little bit of it. And I'm gonna go right in and blend it. If I wanted to add this black in my crease because I'm going to cut my crease and I just like to have a little bit more of a definition when I do that. It just makes the look look a little bit more cleaner, so. All right, so like I said, I am now going to cut my crease. I got my two concealer mix on the back of my hand. Y'all let me know, what do y'all like to use when it comes to cutting your crease? Do you guys use like a certain different like a uh, creamy base or do you use concealers like me? Just curious, let me know. All right, so the first color I'm gonna go in with, of course, is the yellow, okay? I have, I have two options of a yellow. So I do have a matte yellow and then a shimmery yellow. And oddly and surprisingly, I think I'm gonna go in with the shimmery yellow. I think I feel like a lot of my other palettes have a lot of matte yellow, so I just wanna do something different and go for a different texture in a sense. yellow is so pigmented and the brush I'm using just in case you guys are curious this is my Morphe M124 brush it's like a really nice small eyeshadow brush and it's perfect for like the inner areas so you want me to sit there and hit that crease and then you want to keep it clean so this is the perfect brush definitely want to pick up more of these brushes the next color I want to go in with is this beautiful like lime green color. It's perfect. Yes. Perfect. This formula, I'm telling you, I knew I was not going to have a problem with any of these eyeshadows because playing in makeup by Yolando is known for having good like quality eyeshadows. 
I do feel like some of her eyeshadow palettes are a little bit overpriced. But overall, if you catch a good sale, it's definitely worth your coins. And she was having like a 50% off sale. So I believe this palette is originally, I want to say 30 something dollars. But I got it for 20 something dollars. So when I bought this, I got two palettes. So I got this one and another one. And I believe my total was only like 40 something dollars. So it was a good sale. So she has really good sales. So definitely catch them. You know, sign up for the mailing and stuff. Your email and stuff. You can definitely catch some good sales from her. I want to go in with this green right here. It's a pretty like dark green color. Of course, I'm going to put this in the outer part of my cut crease. Oh my gosh. Dang, that green was really creamy. Look at that. This is just gorgeous. Wow. All right, so off camera, I did do a black liner because I wasn't thinking, you guys. I thought I pushed record. I was in the zone. But it's okay, because it's just a simple black liner. But what I'm going to do, I didn't even show you guys this, but I did show it on Instagram. I'll be forgetting who I show what to what. But y'all, look at this. This is so gorgeous. So I got this off of Amazon. These are glitter liners. Now, I ain't never tried these before. This is my first time. I just took it out the packaging. Um... But if I can find the link, I should be able to find it. Um, I will have it somewhere in the description box. That way you guys can check it out for yourself. Um, but yeah, so let's see how these do what they do. But I definitely want to give myself a glitter liner. I've never done this besides the inspiration that we're going off of. So if this glitter liner does not work. I'm trying to get my backup prepared. I have some glitter glue and a brush and we're gonna dip the regular glitter. So we're gonna see how this go. So I wanna go in with this green glitter. I hope it's not too matchy matchy. Oh, if it is, oh well. Oh, stinking wells. Let me do a swatch on the back of my hand. Mm, I think it's gonna be cool. I think it's gonna be cool. It's not bad, it's not bad. This is really, really good. All right, so the eyes are somewhat, somewhat, what? Semi done. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with my banana moisturizer cream. I felt like it was definitely special to do it today because it's yellow. I wish I had all like yellow facial products. That would be like really, really cool, but I don't think I do. All right, so to map my face out, I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Putty Poreless Primer. I'm gonna simply put this all over. I need my face to look matte and airbrushed with all this breakout going on right now. Oh. For my foundation choice today, I'm going in with my Becca foundation. And I'm in the shade Mahogany, if you guys are curious, if you're around my skin tone. Going in with Fenty, and this is in the shade 420. I'm just now going to highlight my face back. Bring some color back into my complexion. Cream contour, I'm going in with Rich Ebony by Elf. All right, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer and put it on my lower lash line because I really want this bottom lash line color to be like really like popping. All 
All right, I'm gonna go in with a black pencil. I'm gonna put this in my waterline. I'm gonna semi smirk, smirk it. I hadn't taught it. This is not the pencil. This don't do the same once I got spoiled to the other pencil, you guys. Can nothing compare now. This right here. I do. All you have to do is do less work and you get that creamy black liner that I want. All right, so I'm gonna add an inner color because I feel like my look is not my look unless I put some type of inner pop. So being that we already got a shimmery yellow on the lid, how about we go for a I want to say go, but I feel like that's going to be too Mardi Gras, and that's not what I'm trying to go for, but that's what it's looking like. So let's throw this whole entire look off and pop. Ooh, I wanted to stick to this palette though. I want a really nice, like soft purple, and I know I want to stick with this, but I'm going to just go and dip and dab in another palette really quick because I know the perfect purple. I want to put in my inner now. So I know I was supposed to stick to this palette, but I'm just looking and it has a good variety of different like purple shades. But the purple I want to go for, I feel like I would definitely just top this look off and try to not make this look like a Mardi Gras look. I want to go in with a ColourPop um, purple palette. I don't even know, is it supposed to is this supposed to say it's my pleasure? Because my label is like coming off. But anywho, it's this pretty soft lavender color right here. Oh my gosh. This color is so, 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 so pretty. It's like the perfect like matte purple. And I don't want to go with a shimmer because I already got shimmer on the lid. But if I pop this matte purple in here, it's definitely going to complement that little bottom lash line. Oh my gosh. Just wait for it, y'all. Alright, so for my lips, I feel like I'm going to be bright and bold and I'm not going to go with the typical nude lip. I think I want to go in with a nice pink shade, but I'm still going to line my lip with Coco Kisses, which is my brown pencil. Your know, brown pencil could put any lip color together, I promise you guys. Going in with Wild Thing by Live Glam is this really pretty pink shade. All right, then I'm gonna top it off with Crown Case. This is in the shade Soft Twerk. I love this name. Definitely gonna put more like pink undertones to it. Going in with a bright pink blush. Yes, why not? Why not? I'm gonna pop this right onto my cheeks. This is such a pretty color. I couldn't help. And of course, it's not smart for me to put this on top of these big old breakouts right here, but I'm not gonna let these stop me from slaying my face. Point blank period in the end, okay? This is not gonna stop me from slaying my face. So I'm gonna pop some lashes on off camera and then I'll be back to show you guys what the whole finished look looks like. All right, you guys, so this completes the look. I hope you guys like the whole full face glam. Thank you, ma'am. I am definitely here for these glitters. Like, I'm just really shocked because you'd be surprised on what you find on Amazon. Like, lately, I feel like I've been finding like some really great, amazing products from Amazon for the low, low price. So like, I don't know who's selling stuff on here, but you know, usually they get like a profit when they sell things off of Amazon. So I could just imagine how much the stuff costs, like getting this stuff from the makeup lab, like, and they're selling it for cheap. Like, I feel like most of these brands that, you know, are well known are definitely um, putting too much price point on this stuff. I'm just saying because so I got 10 glitter liners for, I wanna say under 10 bucks. Now, if you get these from a well-known brand, you know, Urban Decay or anything like that, you're not even gonna get one glitter liner for under $10, not even one. Like, they usually around like $15, $20. So this is definitely 
good quality. My eyes are not burning. It was very creamy, very pigmented, and it was under $10. So definitely check out the Amazon store link down in the description box if you guys want to check out these glitter liners. And of course, this palette, I already knew it was going to do what it was going to do. It's bomb pigmented beautiful definitely loved it and like i said in the beginning of the video definitely go ahead and leave me a comment down at the bottom of what yellow eyeshadow that you want me to use next from a particular palette i have a few in mind i want to use my hpt palette um i want to use my other gem rock palette from um yolando i got some monochromatic um palettes i want to use ColourPop. um it's a few. So I definitely, if you guys are following me on Instagram, Instagram is going to get like all these look like events. So definitely make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because they get all the exclusive beats, you know, first thing when I do it. But if you guys are not following me, then it's like you're missing out. But anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys are going to welcome this yellow spotlight theme that we're gonna do for April. I am totally here for it, okay? But you guys have a beautiful day. Stay blessed. And of course, I'll see you guys all in another video. Bye. Go shorty, go shorty. It's your birthday. Bounce out.